this video, you will learn how to operate the motor test bench and measure critical parameters such as speed, current, and torque. First, connect the DC power cables, ensuring the polarity is correct. Attach the black connector to GND. Attach the red connector to the positive voltage terminal. Next, plug in the AC power cord. Turn on the AC power and the main DC power supply. Open the protective cover and ensure the shafts spin freely. Check that no foreign objects are inside the chamber. Close the cover securely before proceeding. Now, connect the USB cables to the data panel. USB for the torque sensor. USB for controller 2, load. USB for controller 1, drive. If required, connect the CAN transmitter. Turn on the main DC power. and run the test bench software. Open the motion terminal and connect both controllers one by one. After the motor controller software is ready for use, we switch to the torque sensor software. Launch the torque sensor software and go online with the sensor. Start the measurement process and open the graphical interface. For the torque sensor, any compatible solution can be used. The system can even operate without the sensor, though it may limit certain functionalities. Ensure both controllers are set to digital control mode. In this setup, the drive unit operates in speed mode while the load unit provides resistance in torque mode. Set the reference speed to 1000 revolutions per minute, then run the drive motor. Use the performance monitor to observe operating parameters. For the load side, set the resistance current to 20 amperes. You can adjust these parameters to test the motor under various conditions and observe how they affect mechanical torque and consumed current.
One of the key features of this test bench is the Safe Torque Off STO control. This safety feature stops the motors if the protective cover is opened or the red STO button is pressed. Let's test this in real time. We can see that the current, mechanical speed and torque have dropped to zero. Even after the cover is closed again, the motors remain stopped, with their speed and torque reference values reset to zero. Another protective feature of this motor test bench is the general emergency stop button. This button shuts down the main DC power and turns off both controllers. Let's test it in real time. As we can see, the current, mechanical speed and torque have dropped to zero. Both motor controllers are now disconnected and have gone offline. The main DC power button remains inactive until we release the emergency stop button. However, it's best to avoid frequent use of the emergency stop button. Instead, operate with the safe torque off feature, as it is safer for the controllers. Use a thermal camera to monitor the temperature inside the chamber. If needed, activate the cooling fan to maintain optimal conditions. With these steps, you can safely and effectively operate the motor test bench, perform measurements, and test motor performance under various conditions.